welcome back to Fun with Fitzy. Uh, this is finally 9.2, uh, Adjusting Entries and the Worksheet. So we've done the worksheet in Chapter 8, and you are uh, pretty prepared for this. The first place that adjusting entries are recorded, in fact, is on the worksheet. Not necessarily on the journal paper, as we were just discussing in 9.1. As the worksheet is prepared, adjusting entries are calculated and recorded in the section called adjustments. Remember I said there were going to be two more columns called adjustments? Well, you're going to see that here. So we have an eight column worksheet here. The trial balance is the same as we've seen. The income statement is the same as we've seen and the balance sheet is the same as we've seen. Now I promised you we would add two more columns called adjustments. There's a debit column and a credit column. Okay, so in our supplies expense video we learned that when you have an expense, you need to, or when you use up supplies, you need to calculate how much you used and record them as an adjustment at the end of the fiscal period. So in this particular example, we had supplies expense of $954.90. It's a debit because supplies expense is going to be debited in the journal entry. I'm putting it below the line here, below our totals, because, and here's where our total should be. Because supplies expense is missing from our list. If it was here in our list, we would just put it in the correct column, but we've never used it yet because it was always at zero. And then our corresponding credit, remember when we do our adjustment for supplies, we debit supplies expense and credit supplies, and there it is. So I'm just putting it in the proper column. That's it for supplies. Then we had prepaid insurance. So an analysis of prepaid insurance determined that the balance at December 31st should be. That means what you should have left. Remember, we always look at what we used up. So if we had 6,564 and we used up 4,070, you're basically going to take your 6,564 Subtract what we had left to see how much we used, and you're going to get 2494. So again, with our adjusting entries, we learned that for prepaid expenses, you debit your expense. And this is our second adjustment, so I'm putting a number two around it. And we're going to credit that account because we want it to show how much we have left. So we had 6,564. And now we're crediting it for $24.94 because that's what we used up. And finally, let's look at late bills. A clerk discovered three late purchase invoices belonging to 2007. And this is the year 2007, right? We're doing this is the year end, December 31st, 2007. So when, by late, we mean it probably came in January of 2008. So they were telephone for $45 and truck repair for $4.96 and there's three of them, $85. So I'm going to go ahead and debit all of those expenses. So we're going to start with telephone expense. There's our debit in our telephone expense. The other one was $496 in our truck repair. So that's going to be a truck expense. And there's our, a miscellaneous expense for the last one. And as we talked about, those three are going to be credited to accounts payable because you haven't paid those bills yet, you still owe the money. So now we have all of our adjustments in the worksheet. The next step is to extend our balances. Now we know how to extend normally. Bank is a debit, it's an asset, it's going to go right here, and so on and so forth. However, now that we have some stuff in the adjustment column, we need to take into account what we had and, and now what we're going to have. So let's look at supplies first. Okay, let's look at supplies. We had a debit of $14.80.90 and then we credited it. So when one's a debit and one's a credit, you're going to subtract it. We had this much, we used this much up, and therefore we have 526 left. Same thing for prepaid insurance. Same thing for prepaid insurance. We had 6,564, that's a debit. And because there's a credit here, we have to subtract. And it's still an asset, so it's going to go on the balance sheet. Remember I said these prepaid expenses go on the balance sheet, they're assets. 
an accounts payable. In this case, we had a credit and we credited it again. That, therefore, we're going to add them. So when they're both the same, both credits or both debits, add them. When they're different, one's a debit, one's a credit, subtract them. So we had this much, we increased it by that much, and we put it in the appropriate column. So we are extending our worksheet still. So let's take a quick look here. So I just quickly threw all the numbers in there. Bank wasn't affected because there was nothing in the adjustment column, so it stayed the same. Accounts receivable wasn't affected because there's nothing in this column, so it stayed the same. Supplies was affected because we adjusted it. There was a debit, there, then a credit, so we subtracted it to get this amount. Okay, so if there's something in the adjustment column, you need to do some math. Miscellaneous expense, let's jump down to here. There was $19.51.65 as a debit. Then we debited it again, $85. So we're going to add those together. When they're both debits, add them. And I'm going to put it on the income statement because in expenses go on the income statement. And when I added them together, this is the number I got. Same thing here, telephone expenses. We had already 1,800 in telephone expenses for the year. Plus that last month, this was a debit, and this is also a debit, so add them, put it there. Same truck expense, this is a debit, this is a debit, so add them, put your answer there. Expenses go on the income statement. And don't forget these ones here, supplies. We had zero and zero. So zero as a debit plus 954.90 as a debit is 954.90 for these two. Some people forget these two because they were below our first total. Don't forget them. And then the rest of your worksheet it follows the same procedure. Okay, you're going to total your debit and credit columns for both your income statement and your balance sheet. So that's right here. Total those columns. Of course, they're not going to equal each other, remember. You're going to subtract them from each other and put the answer on the smaller side. So this number subtracted from this number is 66,836 And again, on your balance sheet, the smaller from the bigger, subtract it, put the answer on the smaller side, and these two numbers should equal. Remember, it's the balancing figure. Then we're going to add these two up. By the way, the balancing figure is your net income. Don't forget to write net income over here, and it's got to be in the exact same line as the balancing figure. Add these together, draw your single ruled line, put your totals in, and your double ruled line. So there is your completed worksheet. So this shouldn't be too difficult because we've done a worksheet in Chapter 8. We've done all these adjustments in 9.1. So now you're just putting your adjustments on your journal paper and extending your worksheet. Now you'll notice the one thing that's different from this worksheet compared to the chapter eight worksheet is the totals are in different spots. So here, there's one up here, and the next one is down here, and this line ends up going all the way across. And you have your double line, and then another double line and single root line here. So be really careful about your, your formatting here. Now you're gonna journalize those adjusting entries. So you know how to do that from the worksheet you're going to just put all those adjusting entries. So when you look at your worksheet, let's go back and look at supplies. So our first journal entry here is a one beside it. So we're going to take this debit and this credit. So credit supplies, debit supplies, expense. Credit supplies, debit supplies, expense. And that was our first adjusting entry. By the way, adjusting entries need a heading on your journal paper. We've never done this before. This is our first time. Write adjusting entries and underline it. When we do closing entries, we will also have a heading there. And therefore, now you do not need to have an explanation. So let's look at our insurance expense from the worksheet. It was two, number two. So I'm looking for number two. There it is. Insurance expense is my debit. And there's my other number two. Prepaid insurance is my credit. So there it is. I debited insurance expense. And prepaid insurance is credited. And finally, number three, and finally, number three. Number three has lots. There's three number threes as debits. Miscellaneous expense for 85, telephone expense for 45, truck expense for 496, and accounts payable as my credit. So when you put it all together, there's my three debits and my accounts payable as a credit. 
So again, basically by now you should be able to prepare a worksheet with the adjusting entries. So you calculate your adjustments and put them on the worksheet first. That's step one. Then finish your worksheet by extending the accounts on the worksheet and finalizing your worksheet. And then journalize the adjusting entries after completing the worksheet.